Well, hello everybody, Mr. O here, and welcome to the, you know, starting a comic book slash manga page part three. This is 3B, traditional inking. And uh, let me just show you what I got real quick. Um, we're not gonna use it all, but when I'm preparing to ink, and when I do a page this, this large, I'm probably gonna do a lot more dip and use this kind of brush. Um, this saves money versus using a brush pen. Um, brush pen are, is great for smaller stuff, but if I'm going to ink, let's say 30 pages, um, this is more cost effective. Now, the White India ink isn't correction ink. It's a little thinner, so sometimes it'll take two uh, layers. My correction ink is in a different location. When you do videos in different locations, um, you don't have everything you need. Um, but enough about that. Uh, I do have an inking brush, and you, as you can see, now this is a four brush. I also have a six brush. Um, I do have a, a couple different uh, sizes. You probably uh, recognize the inking pens and the brush from my other inking videos. I'm not gonna do talk about too much. Uh, there is a line weight video that you, you can see, and we'll talk a little bit about line weight like we did in the digital inking one. Um, so I got a hodgepodge of pens. The biggest thing I wanna talk about is the white gel pen. I'm noticing students and even adults, like when they're posting stuff, that they're using the uh, white gel pen more as a correction pen. I do correct things with this too. I fixed some edges and stuff like that. But when there's a big area, let me get yourself some correction ink or India ink, white Indian ink to do that. Uh, it, I think it looks better, it looks smoother. Uh, when you're going back and forth with a white gel pen, it doesn't look as nice. And then I have different sizes. Now this is a brush pen. Um, this is the 0 0.05, this is a 1.0, and this is a 0.5 or 0 0.05. Um, and this is a school smart, and this is where I start everything inking. Now, I'm not gonna ink my final page here. Um, if you're wondering if I would use the other inking pens, I absolutely would. If I'm inking like all these little panels and I get smaller details, I just wanna show you how I transition. And what I did is I'm gonna move this to the side, um, maybe under here. Um, and I made a copy. Uh, so scanning my stuff allows me to even make a like a an inking practice paper. Um, and if you're not somebody who's great at inking, this is a great way to practice before you even go to your final. You try different things out. Um, there is a nice career for people who can digitally ink and then traditionally ink also. Um, so what I do is basically, uh, since my paper is smaller, I got, like I said, this is a 0.5. Um, I always start with the face and I just do a couple of the lines. I'm not gonna color anything in. Um, I'm gonna go around, put all the details in as I see it. And when I get back, let's say I got the whole face done, this is where that 005, um, I highly recommend, you should not be running out of these. Um, I think people become too reliant. The way I use the 05 is the, the way that people use the 005. And you just ink, get all the details, as you see, uh, much thinner lines. I get all the face ink, and that's when I go back in um, with a, uh, a thicker pen. Now I'm not going to use this because I forgot to bring a tissue over. Something I've noticed um, with this brand, Accurate, uh, see the fungus growing on the ink pen? It's not a big deal. You just take a tissue and you wipe it and it's just gone. Um, and you can use it and it makes it nice. You, I bet you it works just fine uh, once, once you get through the fungus. Uh, as you can see, it's a much thicker line and a, a very smooth line. And this, the brush pen, I think does a much better job when you want to do something nice and smooth. And getting that line weight, we talked a little bit about line weight. Um, line weight is like the thickness of your line, um, knowing when and where to put it. 
uh, it becomes very important. And you can see how I'm using my brush pen. I can do the shadows at the exact same time. Um, so guys, uh, please watch the other videos when it comes to inking, and I think that'll make greater sense to you. Uh, line weight is very important. If you have, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. Hopefully you would like and subscribe. And, uh, uh, that does help me help students and guys, the, the thing with line weight is, is knowing the thickness. I use the tip of my brush, but going back in and I'm noticing that this five is a little thick. It's almost as, as thick as the one. So maybe going to a point three, if you're finding your five, um, a oh, wrong pen here, uh, same brand. And so, you know, you can get in with little bits of details and getting the details as you see fit, as you want it. Um, this helps quite a bit. And you can see why students would become reliant on this 0 .005. It's a lot easier. I like to have a base one. Um, traditionally, I do do the 0 .03, that's me and I do most of my inking with it, and then I go back in to, you know, because I can really choose where that line weight goes. Guys, I hope this makes sense for traditional uh, inking, and I'll grab one of these pages here. Go back to the brush pen to remind you that you are very important. Um, you guys have a beautiful day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.